Where are you going? I'm going upstairs. Because I'm going to put my nuts hat on your drum set. Okay? If you do that, I am warning you right now, if you touch my drums, I will stab you in the neck with oh. a knife. Oh, yeah. All season long so far in these first four races, and it's uh, fun to watch. And what can you say about having two brothers at this level again five of the first seven motos they finished one two they're one two in points they're one two in this race shout out to the, the family and the people around them i know everybody says that but they've got a really tight-knit group and it has led to this jet leaping down the staircase he's got the inside i think he's going to have the lead he absolutely no, has hunter it fights back, Brock. <laughs> hunter has the outside boy it's just been fun there but so many different lines and they're Taken just inside outside. Yeah, I thought Hunter maybe had something brewing there to get him back. Not quite. So let's see, can Jet pull away or can Hunter repass him? Fantastic action high point. Oh, Hunter wants to spot back. Sometimes you just almost gotta sit there and watch because it's yeah. just so exciting. It's Oh, think of the fans here at High Point. Huge crowd. These are two of the most popular riders, and they are putting on a show. And one we have not seen yet. Brother versus brother for the lead. And different lines all over this racetrack. Hunter is looking for his spot. This is the track where really the donut craze started for Hunter, isn't it? Uh, for Jet. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah the poster contest yeah. last year, yeah. <laughs> exactly, the poster contest of... Uh, so. Very popular rider, Jet Lawrence, and both of Lawrence brothers are very popular and likable. No wonder they're popular, but it's, uh, this is, uh, Jet's got a little extra, extra love here at the High Point crowd. Now, Hunter, we're going to see that outside putting it to work from second place. Not enough to close back in. Yep. But I'll tell you what, Jet's not getting away, that's for sure. Somehow I think I've seen this picture before. You know, these two brothers have done this before on practice sessions no question about it they've uh, they've battled closely many times and they're starting to really checking out uh, checking out away from uh, justin cooper sitting in third place so if it ends like this jet lawrence wins the overall they'll tie up points they're both of a first and a second the tiebreaker is the better second moto but it's inconsequential right now we have a lot of time left for these two to duke it out and hunter is giving him all he can handle halfway through this moto 15 minutes down, 15 minutes to go. 15 minutes, you can save 15% or more on your insurance. Totally different line that we've seen no one use in this moto from Hunter. Yeah, I was kind of wondering if anybody was going to be able to work that line in, but it looks like that little knob in the inside is just, just... Battle continues. Chet able to slip away in that one turn, and then Hunter gets it back. He does. So you can see right now, there's just a, each rider has a little bit of a strong spot or portion of the track, and the other rider might be a little faster. Now the lapped rider may jet check up a little bit. Hunter's able to get closer. And he's could pushing. Be in. He's pushing hard. Absolutely, <laughs> edging to the inside, and he loves this outside. This is the closest he has been. He's going to dive bomb it. Big run by Hunter. Not enough. Yeah, that outside line's kind of losing a little bit of its mojo, but Hunter's still trying to make it work. And Jet able to wheelie through that corner and use that inside. Now, who's got the guts to lead the brakes off down the hill? Hopping the bumps. Great run by Hunter. You saw that exactly, kind of easing off the brakes. The harder you brake, the more deeply the suspension goes into the stroke, and then it actually doesn't work as well. And Hunter was able to just kind of release maybe 10, 20% of the brake just to release the suspension, let it back, get back to working properly, and uh, it really showed. This has been as good as advertised. We knew they would be closely matched. Chet cannot get away. He can follow and use one of those lap riders to his advantage and squeak by his brother. Oh, laying it over in that corner. Oh, hey, their trainer, Johnny O'Mara, former Team Honda rider, is with Jason Thomas. JT. So I'm down here with the O-Show, Johnny O'Mara. As you said, trainer and riding coach of both of the Lawrence brothers. Now, the last few weeks, they've been a little bit under the weather. Certainly doesn't look that way today. No, they're feeling a little bit better this week. Not, not 100%, but definitely, as you can see, they're spreading out there. And it's just between the two brothers, you know, I think everyone knows that they're under my program and they train the same, they're on the same machinery, and they both want to win very bad. So we've got to ask the question, who's going to get it done? Uh, like, I really can't answer it. We, uh, I want both boys equal them out. Like, literally, sure, Jets won the first four, but Hunter doesn't want to give any more points up to Jets, so it's going to be a battle all summer.
And it was a battle right there, and it was the downhill. Hunter Lawrence makes the pass. Yeah, we were talking about that exact hunt, that lap earlier. Hunter looked like he just kind of realized when you charge real hard, just ease off the brakes, let the suspension work, and the bike actually flowed a little better. For some reason, you just able to find the extra amount of speed down there, made it work, and then it really kind of put the move on Jet. Jet had to pop out of the rut. Jet has to answer back now. Eight minutes to go, and Jet does. A tremendous speed on the staircase. Oh, they risk it all, and Hunter just able to hold him off. Jet just, he's not afraid to pin it down no. that staircase. He's got a little extra speed there over Hunter, and, and Hunter has a little more where he made the pass, so. We'll take you yeah, through this is about as racy as a motocross track is going to get. I mean, they are in different sections in almost every corner. There's the downhill we talked about earlier. See that berm well, is getting a, it's getting a big hook in it, and it caught Jet last lap. So Jet changed lines wisely, and now he's starting to realize that hopefully Hunter uh, makes an adjustment for the next lap. Jet might be the chance of passing. Also, Hunter, he takes that wide line before they reach what we used to call Bradshaw Boulevard, and... It was definitely quicker Hunter on the inside. So he's got to try to change lines while leading because Jet has closed back in. This is spectacular. Just stuffing it in there at the bottom of that wooden board corner there. And it's just, you could tell, I'm sure, the dirt and the boards. And you can feel that when you hit that board, trust me. Hey, Hunter didn't get the double oh. over the tunnel. And that allows Jet to pull up alongside. Now Jet's been on the other side of the track most of the time. It's flipped now. Can he go around the outside and make it work? Not quite yet, but he's on the inside now. Jet's got the pass there, and it's Unreal. unbelievable. They switched lines because that was Jet, uh, that was Jet's trump card before, where he was able to go down the right hand side there and carry extra speed. So then Hunter got on that side, but then Jet was still able to make the, the pass work on the outside of the next corner. And Hunter had a spot where he could have got him back, but he got his leg caught and couldn't quite double downhill like he had been doing. So now it's his turn to try to reset. Look, we've talked about how it's been super friendly between the brothers. They were JT saw them throwing the football around yesterday, hanging out, but we've not seen a knockdown drag out battle between them yet, and you can see how badly they want to beat each other. They definitely want to beat each other. And uh, we talk about the you know, they come they're they're what some of the only riders that really spend all day on Friday at the track. Every time I've been here all day on Friday, these two brothers are there, like you mentioned. Talked about them playing cornhole together, a little got real competitive there at Thunder Valley. Yesterday they're throwing the football around. So they do, they hang out at the track together, they spend all the time there. So but there's no question Hunter Hunter wants to be able to beat his brother and vice versa. Yep, and that wing streak, Jet Lawrence undefeated so far. He's got the downhill figured out this time as we go back to the beta drone cam, and he's got to protect on the inside. That rut is straight nasty. It's gotten real nasty. The early part of the berm has pushed away. The mid part, for some reason, held its own. And so now it's got a double hook in the middle of the berm. And these guys are starting to figure it out, working a way around it, not going so deeply into the berm to, to where it completely stops their momentum. But it's still not the, not, the, not the ultimate shape corner yet. No, but can Hunter do it? Can he close back in? Here's the critical downhill where he made the pass a few laps ago. And here's that rut on the inside we're talking about. It ain't pretty. Oh, they tried to get out of it. Yeah, I like the way Jet just did hit, the, hit that berm and kind of just let the suspension rebound and help him pop out of the corner. But these guys are neck and neck. Yeah. You got lappers all around them. Oh, yeah, Hunter's complete. right back there, and that really held up Jet. You have complete chaos all around him with these lapped riders. Jet looks over to see where that lapped rider is because he wants to block and kind of maybe get, give him the little... Called the stink eye, but he's giving him like, hey man, <laughs> you're battling with the leaders here. Cooper still third. Shimoda, Moseman up to fifth. I, yeah, Hanning. He's, a, he's a fighter. And Jet's not slowing down, trust me. He's you can see right there, even on that little bump, he's almost scrubbing it on that stair step coming down there. And Hunter is pushing hard. Oh, he is throwing it out there on the final lap. Took about two laps there where Jet pulled away, thought it was over. Ah, they can't get that double right now. That run has just become too difficult. I mean, why would why would Hunter hold back yep. right now? It's the last lap of the second moto, and if he makes that pass, he wins overall. And his piggy bank's bigger, so he's going to lay it on the line, and he's certainly doing that. And we get to we get to be privy to watching this. Uh, it's going to be a fight right down to the end. Jet's going to have to pick it up because Hunter is absolutely pinned on this final lap, and he's got it down to about five bike legs. And there is room for passing back here. 
Fans love this. They're going to give it to you for the full 30 and two. Yep, tricky off camber. Hunter tries a little different line on the inside. Look to make, gain another bike length or two. Here we go, downhill and then back up. Yep, and then we go down to that tricky corner down here in the shade. We talked about it over and over. This is a tough corner down here just before the old Bradshaw Boulevard. Hunter is uses outside the entire moto. Could it pay off for him on the last lap? Little mistake by Jet. Hunter's close. Leading up to the down oh boy. downhill coming up that he made the pass earlier. You know he wants it here. Right here. Who's going to leave the brakes off to the bottom of the hill? Oh, Jet does a great job of he did. countering there. And Hunter sent it. Jet able to respond. Oh, last turn goodness, coming up. Hunter's pulling back up on him. <laughs> Checkers in sight. Jet Lawrence oh, meets Hunter Lawrence man. by a half second. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. That was unbelievable. What a race. As good as you'll ever see it. Regardless of who it is, the fact that they're brothers and teammates makes it that much better. Half a second! Oh, what a last lap by Hunter Lawrence. That was fantastic. I'm telling you, he's got to just be proud of that effort he put in, but also just madly frustrated. Yeah, it's confidence either way, though. They both know that could have gone either way, and there's plenty more motos to go where Hunter will have the chance to even the score. Today, they'll end up tied up points, 2-1-1-2. But Jet will get the overall for the fourth straight week with the tiebreaker in Moto2. You want to read the body language of the brothers after this one. There it is. Yeah, but I want to pull that helmet off, Hunter. I want to see. I want to see how frustrated or he's just like, man. What a race! All the way down to the end. There's their agent, Lucas Myrtle, to congratulate both of them. There's of course Johnny O'Mara in the black hat, the trainer, to immediately start downloading the information. Yep. What a battle. What a battle. And you know the fans love this one, too. And don't worry, folks. Plenty more opportunity to see more of that. More where that came from. Stay with us. We'll talk to them. Hey. Man. Hell if I know, I came in and found your ass laying there. Bullshit.